Hello. We are going to another Dawn Trail dungeon. Vanguard. The music for this expansion is pretty good, huh? I'm eating some food because I'm trying to level up. Dude, I had a whole situation of like trying to figure out if I was going to level two um, jobs at the same time. Jobs? Classes? Uh, I'm just pulling the ads here. I'm pulling the first one to the next one. You know, standard stuff. Uh, and I was having a hard time stopping and going to level. And so I just leveled my machinist with MSQ. And then I was like, oh, I gotta make the guides though with <laughs> Paladin. Oh man, okay. So then I was definitely like, okay, I'll do a few roulettes. And then when I record the footage of the dungeons, that will also give me experience. And then I just gotta make sure to eat my food all the time. It was way more coordinating than I thought it would take. I'm not really good with numbers either. And so sometimes if my friends are like, do you, do you want to run roulettes? And I was like, Wh which one can give me like two thirds of the bar left of my of my bar? Because <laughs> I need at least two thirds of my bar so then I can record my next thing. Yeah, there's nothing too particular about these ads except maybe like there's like this one ad that doesn't move that much and so I do pull everything to that one like it'll move eventually but I notice one is typically like stronger than all the other ones for some reason oh these are s7s and this was a g7 oh okay so maybe that's why it's different it also looks a little bit bigger like taller okay I like this is probably the third time, third fourth time I'd run this, and so I was like, why is there always just like one left over? And I, now I know it's because it's a little bit different than the other ones. Okay, so for here, these uh, ads on the motorcycles are going to do line AOEs, so you can hang out on the side over here and wait for them or you can do what I do and just, just run through it there's space in between them but if, if you kind of have a hard time running between these lines then it's like you can just wait on the side their line AOEs are called swoop you also have enough time to like run off to this side but I just keep I wanted to see if I could do it <laughs> not get hit but then they end up over here so then I have to run back to go grab them you know And then of course she's got one over there but I pull everything and I go grab the next set and then pull it back okay so those uh, do the, the donut aways saw that Let's see so if you're gonna like run straight through make sure that you're in a safe spot You can get these bikes as a mount if you have a bunch of gill. I think it's 7 million. Something like that. Okay, watch out for these big AOEs. Man, if only we could loot one of them off the side, you know what I'm saying? Well, these are called R7s. I wonder what the R stands for. Rider? 
Maybe S is soldier? And maybe G is like general? What? I'm super tired today because I went outside yesterday and it's very hot these days because it's summertime so I'm a bit more quiet. Am I being quiet? I don't know. <laughs> this always happens. I think I'm being quiet and then all of a sudden I start talking like non-stop. Okay first boss. R, R, A, oh but this one's a commander. Wait! Sentry R7. Hmm. Alright. Wait. <laughs> Vanguard Sentry G7. I don't know. I don't know much about like rankings and stuff, so never mind. Okay, so we're gonna fight this one. This is gonna be a raid wide. All right, the outside has like some electric, electric, electricity stuff. Okay, enhanced mobility. This spans the entire stage, and so um, it will go up here, and then make a turn, and it will cleave all this stuff. I didn't know how to read this. At the beginning, but when it says beware the wing blade, it means this thing, okay? Not, not Grahatia. Uh, th this thing. Let's see if I can get the animation out there. <clears throat> there was like a shwing noise, and it's this, okay? So. This essentially is either going to be a huge circle AoE, this this enhanced mobility thing. It's going to be a huge circle AoE like this because of this wing blade or it's going to be a huge donut. And so then outside is not safe, but inside is safe. Okay, so if the wing blade is on the right hand side of the boss then it this whole situation is going to cleave the inside because by the time the boss is like here uh this is a motorcycle right okay and then it's got the big wing blade here okay then by the time it goes to here it's I'm taking time to draw this because I definitely died to this like a ton because I did not understand how it worked okay like geometrically and also with all the lights and stuff I did not understand how it worked okay so, choose like pink or something. So the wing blade right now is right here, right? But as the boss moves up here and goes here, the wing blade is in uh, the on the right hand, and so it's spinning inside. It's it's spinning inside, and then as the boss moves. The wing blade also moves inside like this because the boss is holding the, in the right hand and then eventually the wing blade will be over here as the boss moves over here okay and then when the boss is here it's still in its right hand so the wing blade hits the inside <laughs> all right uh conversely if the thing was in the left hand then it would be on the outside which i will draw after but later when we see it so so let's just see it happen 
Okay, so I'm running out. I'm just gonna hang out out here. See? There, there we go. It's inside, okay? And you can see it's gonna go like this. There we go. So the entire inside got cleaved. So you have to like wait on the outside. Let's wait until we see the other variation and then I'll show extra footage. Alright, so here there uh, there was a CAS dispatch dispatch requesting reinforcements. Okay, so we got these Vanguard sentries. R eights, they're different. Okay, and they're they're rushing here. They're not here, they're not over here, so they must be behind me. So I'm gonna turn my camera around and figure out where they are. And so yeah, they're gonna rush across the stage. So you gotta make sure you can see where they are so you can move out of those AoEs. Like you can pre-position yourself by looking at where they're at. If you wait until you see um, the telegraph of the AoE, like the orange lines, you might not have enough time to react to it and you might get clipped. And so you can tell by just turning your camera and looking at where the sentries are. Okay, electro wave is the raid wide. Dispatch, so we're gonna get some more ads. Okay, so here we got ad, here we got an ad, here we got an ad. Oh, we got one here too. Prepare aerial bombardment. Okay, so they lift themselves up. Okay, and so we got these circle AOEs that are gonna keep expanding. So you gotta go into a safe spot one of these corners. Typically these AoEs will drop like... I, I want to say on a diagonal, but I mean this is not a perfect diagonal or anything. Okay, so, so you gotta like look at where... Well, the thing is, when they drop, it does seem like they are at the cardinals, it's not like they're offset, and so you have to just look at the initial, um, initial AOE set drop up, uh, pop up, okay, like they're over here, and over here, and so these are only going to get bigger, and so you know your safe spot's either going to be in this corner or in that corner, but you got to tuck yourself away a lot to not get hit by those. I I stood in it just to see how much it, how much damage you take. 30k and a bone stack. Okay, this mechanic again. Enhanced mobility. Okay, so again, it's on the right hand side of the boss. Is inside. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be a circle AoE. You can also take a look at this little corner, this little armpit. Okay, if the line is where the armpit thing is, then it's gonna be a circle AoE. I don't know. I just made that up. But it's like if you're facing the other direction, it might not be as intuitive that this is the right hand side of the boss. Unless you do think like that, like I do, then um, yeah, there's that. It seems like this mechanic will always go in this direction. I, I have not seen it where it goes this way. I ran over here just to see if there was any difference. Oh, you could even see... There, there's even like a line, a short line from this thing here. Watch, uh, like it goes across like this. So like, and that makes sense, it cleaves the whole thing because this whole thing is a cleaving thing. There, you see that? It was like a very quick orange AoE. Okay. You stay out, wait for it to do the circle, and then you're good to go. What the heck was that? <laughs> that was some weird animation lag. Okay, so electro- <sighs> Dude, I was already standing there. Okay, we have a few things happening here besides that weird animation. We have dispatch, and so there are going to be ads that pop up. And then we also have AoEs around us, and so we need to dodge these 
motorcycle dudes that come up and we need to spread these AOEs and then we also have I this is probably a raid wide <sighs> look at this why now so then now I gotta move over there okay but also from this camera angle I see that we got this but we also have some up here so it's gonna be a checkerboard I got hit with both of them because I was trying to react to not getting clipped by another AOE but yeah there's a bit going on there you gotta make sure you spread make sure you kind of see where these motorcycles are and find the the checkerboard thing of it okay so like if this is going here and this is here and this is here you know like that and so you might have a safe spot here that kind of thing yeah so like there, there's enough space not if <laughs> not if some of your party members stand exactly where you were though as main tank i was supposed to stand there it's not always like that but since i was already there you know what i'm saying it's kind of like dude why don't you just stay back over here where you're when you're already there why you'll be like that excuse me please i'm the tank right now please you can tell i have some issues with certain characters okay we got a bunch of ads here some of them are doing aerial offense okay and so they're lifting up they're doing that circle aoe and so you gotta go into a corner for that it's kind of cool they're like hovering you definitely want to watch out for that and then some are going to do the same thing but in the opposite corners okay so see there's like these ones in the intracardinals like the corners that are just waiting so we're gonna stand on the side here for the first hit and then don't don't get spooked but the ones in the corners are lifting up too and so that means after the first hit this corner will be a safe one. Oh wait not not this corner sorry my bad this the middle the middle my bad so you go to the side to wait for the first hit and then you go to the middle wait for the second hit and then you and then it's resolved raid wait Hopefully it does the other side. Okay, here we go. This one. This one. This time, this thing is on the left hand. And so, well, for one thing, it's going to cleave this entire area. So you don't want to stand there. But then afterwards, once the boss is outside, like if the boss is here, On their bike you know? now their thing is in on their left hand which is on the outside and so it just cleaves on the outside like that okay so it goes like that and so the inside will be safe See, see this like little orange AOE there? So it cleaves all of this and then eventually it'll go around. So the middle is safe. When I first ran this, I was I I was overcomplicating things. So it made it I got hit with it a few times. Okay, so this one we have the same thing, it's gonna be a checkerboard situation. And then we have to spread these AOEs. Oh, Electro Surge is the AOE blast, not an, uh, not a raid wipe. Okay, dispatch again. There'll be ads again. And so after that, I just repeat mechanics. Okay, wait. Let's take a look at this footage. Let's see how we handled it. 
Um, yeah, here we go. See, I wasn't really sure how to read this. So I was kind of just going around. And I saw this person go in the corner, so I was like, I'll stand here. I think this is outside. I think this is fine. But then I kind of just ran right into it. So that's not great. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So this time it's on the out, on the left hand side of the boss. And so you need to stand inside. But I ran outside because I didn't know how to, again, I didn't know how to read this. And so. <laughs> okay, see, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hit with this thing. Uh, and then it went and then it did the, the donut. See it, it's tricky. It's tricky to read it the first time by yourself. Let's see, one more time, let's see what happens here. At this point, I was like, is it in again? And then I just saw someone running out, and I was like, I'll just follow them. Cause see, and then, yeah, like, I ran back in, because I was like, is that it? Are we done? And no, it wasn't, so, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. So kind of same thing with the other things, like these turrets do that line maybe, but like you can wait, but they don't um, they don't rush across like those other ads did. So I just I did just run towards them. Like there was enough space, you know. So you can just rush towards them. It's okay. I think why is she just running straight into the thing? Okay, well some some people like to just take the AOEs, but yeah. So I'm gonna grab these. I think for some of these doors, it's not clear as to whether they're going to open or not. And so I feel like exploring. This is a nice one to just run into doors. Well, yeah, we've got the Sentry S7s and then the Sentry G7. This one, see, it's always like standing a little bit further back. So I like try to bring everything to it. Watch out for the cone at least. Whoa, <laughs> Cryle's little pictomancer thing. Okay, watch out for the line AoEs that they drop at the beginning. Usually, like, you go off to the side. Um. Yeah, and then I pick these up and try to see if I can go further. Oh, great, they just come over here. See, at this point I'm like contemplating if I should just keep going or 
if it's not worth it. But then I, yeah, I do go over here. And it turns out there's nothing else over here. But it was like, yeah, should I? Shouldn't I? You know, so it was kind of fun like that to go exploring the first time while you're getting attacked with a bunch of things. Why not? Yeah, so these ones have the, the big donut A, so make sure you're standing in the middle. Right. Protector. This this fight is pretty fun actually. Electro waves are raid wide. Okay, search and destroy. So we got all these abs on the sides here, and <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of AoE to dodge. Okay, so you're gonna, everyone's gonna have some circle AoEs dropping under them, and then these ads on the sides are gonna be popping out these little homing cannon uh, shock thingy. I don't know exactly which ones go to which, but we do have circle AoEs, and then we do have these line AoEs, okay? I think I'm probably standing them at some point to see how much damage they take, you get from them, but yeah, there's a lot of fancy footwork here. And so ideally you'd spread out from everybody else so you don't overlap those circle AoEs and the, the line AoEs. Okay, so what's different here now when those ads go away? So we got these little um, red walls. They're going to turn into electrical walls, okay? And if you run into them, you get paralyzed. And you also get electrostatic contact, so it's 14k damage. So try to avoid running into them. While that's happening, while those are up, the boss is going to do this battery circuit. So it does a cone. Okay, we've seen this before. And then it rotates. Okay, so it rotates this way. And so this is going to go this way. So I think it's a little bit easier to be right behind a cone and follow it rather than run in front of a cone and have it chase you you know what i'm saying like even though technically you're still kind of in the same like side or whatever it just feels a little bit better to follow a cone rather than almost get hit by one it's a matter of perspective but okay so as i'm running around i'm we also got circle aoes to avoid uh, also, in the middle of the boss's hitbox, the, uh, you can take damage too. So you gotta run around these things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta weave around everything. And then eventually I catch up to the other side and try to avoid running into the walls. Avoid the AoEs. Avoid each other's AoEs. So yeah, it's a little spicy. Tank Buster? I'll show this fight in the other footage to just kind of see how everybody else handles it with uh, real people. Okay, a motion sensitive bomb has been affixed to you. So we've seen this thingy before, a celebration bomb. Okay, so when the timer goes down, if you're moving or doing anything, it's gonna make you explode and push you into the air. So keep that in mind. These turrets are on the side and they're like gonna do a blast thingy 
in sequence and so you want to watch where the first ones are which is the middle wait outside of it and as soon as the middle blows up then you walk into it it's one of those things okay but you have to be mindful of your little acceleration bomb so you can dodge some okay also if you get hit with the line thing get 17k be mindful of your bomb okay okay i'm gonna go stand and dodge this and then i'm gonna immediately like do nothing so i don't get pushed in the air yeah if you did it correctly nothing will happen literally nothing so good job okay search and destroy this one is similar to what we saw before, except now we've got these extra walls that we've seen, but they're in a, they're bigger and they're in a different configuration. And so you have to dodge all this stuff and then also don't run into a wall. If you run into a wall, you'll get paralyzed and then it'll be harder for you to move and dodge out of these things. But okay, so I'm going to start standing in these to figure out how much damage you get. All right, so I think the circle AOE is 20K. And then, okay, a shock, a, a line AOE is 20K. Okay, but no bone stacks from that. It's just straight damage. So it's not too bad going down 20K if you get hit by one. Okay, tracking bolt, big AOEs. Raid wipe. Motion sensor. This is the bomb thing again. Okay, so we're gonna stand on the edge, wait for the middle to explode, and then walk in. I'm standing here to get hit with a thing and I'm running around to see what happens when you get hit with the thingy. Okay, there, see? So oh, that's a lot of damage actually. Um, 57k with the bone stack. Okay, search and destroy, same thing, there's barriers. And I'm running through this, so I'm paralyzed. You can use a student on this if the healer catches it. Yeah, it makes it a little difficult. Sometimes I'm standing still and I'm getting hit with all this stuff. Oh, okay. As, and as you can see, I got hit with a, a few of them. And so it gets kind of spicy. Oh, heavy blast can stack. Nice. Okay, let's watch this one. Let's see how we handled it. Okay, this is the raid wide. Fancy footwork. Yeah, if people are closer together, it makes it a little bit harder to like dodge things because then the line AOEs are a bit closer to each other. So like if someone was up here, a portion of these line AOEs would be like hitting up here instead of everything down here. <gasps> oh my goodness, my health went down so much. Humanist fence. Okay, so this is the little fence, and then we got the rotating thingy. It's a little bit easier for range to like keep up time while running around things. And yeah, I wait for these AOEs to pop. Okay, 
I say I wait here and then I walk into the next spot. Wait, I still got hit with that though. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Wait a minute. Oh, so is it... It seems like... I got hit on the other run too. So it seems like it's not... Um, like the timing of it. Hmm. Alright, let me, let me move forward here. I was definitely saying it at that time. What I'm trying to figure out is if it's like on the cast or if it's on when the AoE drops out or what. Okay, okay, at this point we had like three people. One person here, one person who ran over here, and I was like, I don't want to be stuck in this little square with you guys, a rectangle with you guys. So I started running out this way so I'd have more space to like dodge my AoE because I'm also ranged so I don't need to stay up close okay there's a stack but yeah so you get the idea right let's let's see one more time this thing we'll see what the timing is okay there we go so it seems like you do have to wait for it to actually like Do the animation or do the cast that time? It seemed like, like I jumped in as soon as the yellow thing went away, and that was fine. But this time, I got I got clipped by, N not not that one. <laughs> I'm nitpicking. Maybe I got hit with this one. I, I, yeah, at that point I was like, what is it? Okay, but anyway, th there seems to be uh, a bit of timing finesse for it, so do what you gotta do with your ping. Like, I was able to do it here. But I think it was going in after the animation started already, and then instead of going as soon as the yellow thing goes away. I think that was too early and then I did get hit with it. Anyway, let's move on. to grab that other one, per usual at this point. This dungeon looks kind of cool. It's like a electric aquarium vibe.
ooh, tall mechanical thingies with a big AoE thingy and like turrets that do line AoEs, yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Oh my gosh, this camera angle. I don't I like I don't like going into the little hallways because it like pops the camera. Uh, and I get motion sickness from that. I'm also painting the camera a lot to like figure out if I need to go more. But with Dawn Trail, I have noticed that the they have paced out the dungeons a lot more. So it's like smaller wall-to-wall -wall pools so it's more manageable but things do hit kind of decently so you do have to mitigate like yeah in a standard way um but in some cases they have made it a little bit more interesting like, like even though it was a little frustrating that my camera was popping in this little tunnel. I was like, should I go in there or should I not? And like these little decisions that you have to make while running the dungeon makes it interesting to run through the first time around, at least for me. Like the act of discovery of a place is fun. Let's see how much this AoE hits. Almost 20k. Grab your treasure. Oh, I was just upgrading my gear from the loot I got in this dungeon. You can um, wear the stuff that you get if it works for your current job class that you entered with so that might be helpful if you're like having trouble with getting hit by stuff you know like right, I just picked up this like jacket earlier in the dungeon I'll just wear this new jacket now it'll mess up your glams though so be aware of that Alright, final boss. Snake Skinner. Okay, Electrothermia, there's gonna be a raid white. This is the whole snake oil thing. That means, like, it's fake, right? This guy, it looks like we're attacking him pretty well. But, you know, you get bamboozled. Okay, this line AoE spreads out. Okay, so it's actually going to be a whole cleave. So you want to stand behind that. There we go, see it, it all blows up. Tank buster? Okay, again, it goes over there, but then it's going to spread out, so we're going to be on this side, but the boss is going to do another one, so that means eventually it's going to be on this side, and so this side, and this side, so you can pre-position yourself over here in this quadrant. I, I'm standing in it to see how much damage we take. 
Okay, so like 25k and a mullen stack. Okay, looks like here we got a spread. But we only have so much space and with the NPCs kind of moving around like that. Uh, you gotta quickly discern where you can stand. Uh, and then this quadrant over here is also gonna get the telegraph and so you gotta move out of the way. This is like, it's like rotating. We're all rotating like with these hits really and then spreading these AoEs. Okay, red wide. Tank Buster. See, so look at the health. It's like already almost down. And so it's like, this was the final boss? And we only saw like two or three mechanics? Snake Skinner! Alright, no more games. That was no resurrection resurrection magic. Soul of the Serpent! Give me strength, okay. Here we go. So now here's the actual final final boss. Is boosted. It's a cone? Alright, let's see what happens to this. Okay, it, almost 40k damage and a bone snack. Okay, the boss goes off to the side. Okay, and it's gonna slither around and um, attack a quadrant at a time. Let's just, let's just see it first and then it will make a little more sense. Okay, see, it does, it goes here, hits this quadrant, and then it goes here, hits this quadrant, and then goes here, hits that quadrant, and then it's gonna go here, slither over here, and hit this quadrant. Okay. So, how do you know which side is gonna cleave first? I don't know, let's look it up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I did not figure it out when I was running this, so... The boss moves to the ball and spawns an orange squig squiggle through the arena. Yeah, we got that. Four sword markers appear. Yeah, okay, that's, that's these things. The boss will travel down the squiggle and use an alternating left or right conal AoE when it reaches a marker. The direction of the cleave is determined based on the orientation of the curving line at the marker. Okay, so the curving line of this thingy. Okay. If the line is going right, the boss will cleave right. Okay, so... The curve is going this way, so the boss cleaves over here. That's what happens, right? Yes. Okay, so it is, it's like whatever side this thingy is, is the one that's gonna get hit. See, I kept thinking, oh, is it a situation where we're looking at which hand has the sword? But that makes more sense. That, oh, look! <gasps> They're little snakes! Look at this! Wow, that is very thematic. Also, if you stand in this, then you get electrocution. Okay, the cleaves from this attack occur very quickly and cover the entirety of the arena except a relatively small safe area next to the boss. On the opposite side of the line from the direction it initially curves, stand under the first curve in the line to dodge the cleaves. Wait, under, in quotes, the first curve and the line to dodge it cleaves. Okay, but it's gonna like cleave like this, right? And so technically, like not here, but like under, like right here. Oh yeah, that's, that's basically where they're standing. Okay, so from that, I, I, I took the hits for us 
but I've also read this paragraph, so... With this, the boss is gonna go off to the side, and so in order to find the safe spot, we gotta go near the boss, figure out whether the curve is on this side or the curve's on this side. Okay, so whichever side the curve, this, this curve is, from one sword thing to another sword, that side will get cleaved, and so our safe spot is gonna be this side, and we'll just stay there until the boss is done slithering. Okay, and then you run towards the boss again. Okay, I, I used my little jumping thing and then I landed in the electricity, so be careful if you're gonna do that. Over here, the curve is on this side, and so this side's gonna get cleaved, so our safe spot's gonna be over here. Okay, so next time we see that, we'll see how it goes. Tank Buster? I did not have this information when I ran this, and so we'll see if I can preemptively call it before the footage does. Okay, so, okay. We saw this line AoE from the other previous version of this Snake Skinner guy. This is the one where it will expand, right? And so this whole thing is going to get cleaved. However, we also have an additional thing. None can survive the serpent's art. Okay, so that's kind of indicating to us there's some pizzazz. Slitherbane rear guard. Okay, so that means it's going to attack behind. So... It looks like we're gonna get a cleave here and a cleave here, so basically everywhere's gonna get hit, but there's timing to it. So, you know, this this side usually like will expand first and then sit for a bit and then blow up. So you gotta see which one happens first and, and dodge it like that. So let's see. Rear guard goes first. It's hella fast. Okay, so you gotta dodge that. Uh, base off the cast. Okay, so here we go. Rear guard, it's the entire half part of the boss's hitbox, everything behind. So you want to make sure you're in front. Now, it's going the boss is going to drop the line and then it's going to expand a bit. So now you can adjust back to this area. Okay. And then the boss is going to do that rotating thing of the these glowing cleaves but also at the same time do slitherbane something so this time it says foreguard instead of rear guard okay so foreguard means it's going to be in front of the boss's hitbox and so we can see here the boss is like turning this way okay so that means the boss's slitherbane thingy is going to be this side. It also just so happens that this thing is going to get cleaved on that side, and so we know for sure we do not want to be over here. And so we can be in this back quadrant. Okay, four guard, front cleave, okay. Oh, at the same time, this side blows up. And then at the same time, this one goes down and it's going to start expanding. Okay, now we're rotating. Okay, this thing is going to go out, this line AoE. But we gotta check, I know this frame is a bit chaotic, but we gotta check the cast bar, four guard, okay, so that's gonna be the front, so we wanna stand behind the boss, this quadrant safe because we don't wanna be in this, and we don't wanna be up here because of the four guard thing. Oh, it's like he whips it with his tail. Oh, that makes sense. He's a sneak. Okay, Slitherbane rear guard. So, so this one's gonna explode soon, right? That side. And then this one is gonna populate soon. But here, rear guard, okay? The boss is facing this way. So the back over here is gonna get cleaved. So we need to stay on this side. I have a feeling I probably ran to the other side for science. Of course I did. Okay, so 42k and a volt stack. And then this one blows up. And then this one expands. 
and okay so then we just wait for this one to uh, finish expanding and then it, we're good to reset go back to regular north orientation screech it's raid white Okay, slither thing. Okay, so I've got information now. It's gonna clear this and then this like that. Okay, so our safe spot is gonna be over here. Ay, okay, yes. From this little marker, it goes over here. And then from this marker, because the, the sword thing is here, it's gonna go over here. Okay, so from here, it's going to cleave like this, and it's going to cleave like this, and so on. Okay, so you don't want to stand in this, actually. You want to be behind this line of the circle thing. Alright, what are you doing over there, good? <laughs> I was tempting fate too much. Okay, Tink Buster. Slytherin four guard, okay, so it was gonna do the line AOE that way, but also in front. Okay, then it rotates, so this rear guard is gonna be back here. There we go. Okay, let's let's watch this with other people and see how that goes. Because well, let's, let's skip this first part. Oh yeah, the good stuff. Let's see how we handled it. I definitely didn't know how to read it. I stood in all sorts of things. I was like trying to follow everyone. Because it seemed like they were a bit more knowledgeable. Alright, alright. Okay, so the rear guard, so I got hit with that because I was back there. And I was like, wait, we had to go up there? Four guard? And I was like, okay, so I'm here. <laughs> I almost got hit with that too. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to stand in this. I'll be behind the boss. But then I got hit with that one too. <laughs> okay, and then here's four guard, so it's going to be on that side. I was fine. I stuck with the party this time. I was trying to learn, you know. I was trying my best. I was like, okay, I'm rotating. Oh, okay, at this point, somebody typed that the name of the cast gives it away, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so I think I do better the next time. Okay. Okay, we're over here. Okay. Okay, we're over here. Okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna get the kill before we see that other mechanic, the four guard and rear guard, but... Okay, four guard. Oh yeah, okay, so this time I did, I ran back and I was like, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let's watch the cutscene over here. Cool. Alright, goodbye. Hope that was useful.